how would it end? He ain't got a friend. My only sin is in my skin. What did I do to be so black and blue? From today on, we're gonna be good and pure. What's the matter with you? I'm saying that from today on, we're gonna be good and pure like angels. Will we? Yes. We won't be able to pull it off. I agree. It'll be very difficult, but we'll try. How? Complying with God's law. I've forgotten about that. Me too. So, how are we going to do it? To know what's good and what's not? Yes. I've brought the Bible. Is that enough? Yes, it'll be enough. Will we be saints? That's a bit much. But we could try. It'll be very different. Yes, it will. That way we won't get bored like we are right now. Besides, it'll be cute. Are you sure? Without any doubt. Read to me a little from the book. From the Bible? Yes. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. How cute. Yes, it's so cute. God said, let there be light. And there light was. Light was good, and he separated light from dark. God called light the day, and darkness the night. Night came after the morning. That happened the first day. Did it start that way? Yes, you see how simple and cute? Yes, it had been explained to me in a very complicated way. The cosmos? Yes. <laughs> me too. And also, evolution. <laughs> That's funny. Read to me a little more. God created man from ash. Then he breathed in his nose the spirit of life, and man became a living being. Then the Lord made the man sleep deeply. When he fell asleep, a rib was removed from him. The hole that was left was covered with flesh. With that rib that was taken, God made the... woman. So will we be able to sleep together like we used to? No. So I'll have to sleep by myself? Yes. I'm going to get so cold. You'll get used to it. And you? You're not going to get cold? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, well, that way we won't argue when you take all the blankets for yourself. Definitely. Being good, it was something so difficult. Yes, so very difficult. And will we be allowed to lie? No. Not even little ones? None. And stealing oranges from the woman from the store? Nope. Will we be allowed to enjoy ourselves at the cemetery? Yes, why wouldn't we be? And are we going to be allowed to poke corpses in the eyes like before? No, not that. And killing? No! So, are we allowing those people to continue living? Of course! Even worse for them! Don't you realize what being good is? No? And you? Not that well. But I have the book, so I'll know it. Always with the book. Always. And what's gonna happen then? We'll go to heaven. The two of us? Only with good behavior. And what will we do in heaven? Enjoy ourselves. Always? Yes, always. That's not possible. Yes, it is possible. Why? Because God is all-powerful. God makes impossible things happen. Miracles. Whoa. And in a very simple way at that. I in his place would do it the same way. Look at what the Bible says. A blind person was brought to Jesus, the Son of God, just to be cured. Jesus put some saliva on his eyes and asked him, Can you see something? The blind man, now looking, said, I can see the men in the trees as if they were moving around. Immediately, Jesus put his hands once again on the man's eyes, and he saw clearly and was cured, and he could distinguish things perfectly from far away. 
How cute! He said that we should be good. So we're gonna be good. Yes, so that we can be like children. Like children? Yes, pure, like children. How very difficult. We'll try. Why do you have this obsession now? I get tired. Just because of that? Besides, it has been so bad, what we have done so far. And that which they call heaven, what would it be? This is the place we're going to go after we die. That late? Yes. Can't one go earlier? No. What a joke. Yes, that's the worst of it. And what are we going to do in heaven? I've already told you, enjoy ourselves. I just wanted to hear that from you again. It seems to be impossible. We'll be like angels. Like the good ones or the bad ones? The bad ones aren't in heaven. They're demons and are in hell. And what do they do there? They suffer so very much. They burn. What a difference. It's because those angels were very bad and they rebelled against God. Why? Because of their arrogance. They wanted to be more than God. How exaggerated. Yes, so very much. Well, we'll make do with less than that. Listen, I want to start being good right away. We'll get started right now. Like that, with no more? Yes. Will anyone notice? Yes, God will notice. Is that true? Yes, God can see everything. Even when I pee? Yes, even that. I'm going to be so embarrassed from now on. God writes with golden letters in a cute book the good things you do. And in a bad book with ugly letters, your faults. I'll be good. I want God always to write with golden letters. You shouldn't be good just because of that. For what else, then? Because of the happiness. What about it? To be happy. Are we going to be happy because we're also being good? Yes, indeed. Does this thing called happiness exist? Yes! That's what they say. And what about what we did before? What we did wrong? Yes. We'll have to go to church to confess. Everything? Yes, everything. Also, that you get me naked to sleep with your friends? Yes, even that. And also that we've killed him? That too. We shouldn't have killed him. We're bad. We've got to be good. We killed him for the same reason. The same reason? Yes. We killed him just to enjoy ourselves. Yes. And we enjoyed it for just a little while. Yeah. With all that being good, isn't it going to happen the same way? No, this is more complete. More complete? And more beautiful. More beautiful? Yes. Did you know how the Lord's Son was born? It occurred a long time ago. He was born in a very poor village in Bethlehem, and since he didn't have any money to pay for heat, a little cow and a donkey warmed him up with their breath. Besides, the little cow was so happy to be serving God that she went, Moo! Moo! And the little donkey neighed. And the son's mother, who was God's mother, cried and she was consoled by her husband. I like that! I like it too! And what happened to the boy? He didn't say a word, despite the fact that he was God. Since the men were bad, they didn't give him almost anything to eat. What people? But one day, in a far kingdom, some wise men who were very kind looked at a moving star hanging up in the sky. So, they followed it. Who were those wise men? They were Gaspar, Balthazar, and Melker. The same wise men that give children toys and shoes? Yes! And they followed the star. They followed it until one day they arrived at the village in Bethlehem. Thus, they gave to the boy all that they brought on the camels. Too many toys and candies and also chocolates. Ah, oh, I had forgotten. They also gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So it seems. That way the boy was very happy and his parents. The little cow and donkey too. And what happened next? Well, the boy helped his father out, who was a carpenter, making chairs and tables. 
Because he was very kind, his mother gave him many kisses. What a different child! Hello? He was God. If it's like that... The good thing is that he wouldn't do any miracles then. Not to eat better or get expensive suits. And what happened then? Then he grew up and was killed. He was crucified with spikes in his feet and hands. You see? How painful. Yes, very. He must have cried so much. No, not at all. He restrained himself. Besides, just to shame him, they put him between two thieves. The bad ones or the likable ones? The bad ones. The worst ones that existed then. That's not very nice. Ah, it turns out that one of the thieves was loathsome. A vulgar user of deceit. Unfair! Yes, he gave the impression that he was a bad person, but it turned out he was actually good. And what happened then? It just so happened that God died on the cross. Yes? Yes. But he resurrected on the third day. Ah! Oh. And with that, everyone noticed that all that he said was true. I want to be good. Me too. I want to be like the child born in the village. Me too. And how will we pass the time? Doing good things. All the time? Well, most of the time. And the rest of the time? We could go to the zoo. To see the monkeys thing. No! To see hens and doves. And what else could we do? We'll play the ocarina. The ocarina? Yes! Good. Isn't that bad? I don't think so. And what will we do to be totally good? Look at this. If we see that someone is being annoyed by something we do, we simply won't do it. If we see that someone would like us to do something, well, we'll just do that. If we see that a poor, old, and paralyzed man doesn't have anyone, well, we go to visit him. We don't kill him? No! Oh, poor old man. But don't you see that we can't kill people anymore? Ah, oh, go on. If we see that a woman carries a heavy bundle, we'll go and help her out. If we see there are any injustices, we will go and correct them. Injustices too? Yes, indeed. What important people we're going to be. Oh, sure. And how are we going to know that there is an injustice? We'll eye it out. It'll be boring. It'll be like everything else. In the end, we're going to be bored. We'll try.